Julius, what has stood out most to you thus far about your first few months as a Nick going through training camp and preseason? Um, I mean, from the team perspective, um, the team's been great. Uh, everybody on the team is super competitive. Uh, we got a lot of guys who like to get after it. Uh, we haven't had a bad practice yet. Um, and, you know, we got young guys, we got a bunch of new guys. Um, but everybody's locked in and focused. And uh, we're all trying to build that chemistry. And then from a from a um, from a fan perspective, I mean, these fans are great. Uh, they love the Knicks, and uh, they're all rooting for us to do well. Uh, anytime I'm out in the city or you know out to dinner or whatever, you know, they recognize you, and uh, they show a lot of love. So you know, the fans have been amazing. What is the next step in the evolution of your game? Next step for me um, is uh, making a jump defensively. Uh, Making my teammates better and uh, leadership, you know, those three uh, three things are, are things that I'm, I'm extremely focused on. Um, you know, how can I lead these guys? How can I bring them along with me uh, and help everybody succeed? Um, not just as a team, but individually, you know, because I care about, you know, my guys succeeding too and, and accomplishing the goals that they want. But um, how do I keep everybody together and stay connected? You know, we got to do this together. You know, one guy can't, can't do this. So uh, for me, uh, that's a big goal of mine. If you can, what would be an example of you uh, kind of showing that leadership so far in camp with some of the young players you have? Uh, I just try to learn everybody's personalities. Um, you know, I think a big thing for me is uh, knowing what coach wants out of each individual guy. Um, and I feel like that's a, a way that I can really help, help uh, lead this team. You know, if I know what coach wants out of this guy, and we got to buy into what coach is saying. It's, it's easy for me to, to help that guy uh, to do that or, you know, to, to lead him or whatever um, for me. And then, uh, you know, being, you know, empathetic, uh, you know, really learning my guys, you know, learning what's important to them, how they respond to, to certain things. And, and, you know, everything's not going to be peaches and cream all the time. So for me being able to talk to, to, you know, the younger guys or whoever it is, you know, knowing that I've been in that situation not too long ago um, and helping them bring along, get through adversity, get, uh, bring them along and get through adversity. Uh, for me, you know, I feel like I can, I can be big in that. What has stood out about R.J. Barrett and watching him thus far? Uh, he's a worker. Um, you know, he has supreme confidence, uh, but he works extremely hard. You know, ever since I got here in the summer, um, you know, we're playing pickup and stuff. I, I see the work that he puts in every day. Um, extremely focused uh, individual, but uh, I love the work ethic. I have a couple, but if you would answer him. Hmm. The way you got off to your career mm -hmm. with, you know, a scary injury, how did that shape how you think about your career and the window you have to play basketball? Uh, that was big for me. Um, you know, I've never had an injury like that uh, where I had to sit out that long and, and that's scary, honestly, um, you know. But um, for me, it was all about how can I make the most out of the situation. Um, I got to have a training camp and a couple of preseason games. Um, so I got to, to get that experience in that way. Uh, but how can I learn by watching these guys? How can I learn how to be a pro every day? I was with Kobe Bryant. You know, how can I pick his brain and learn, learn as much as I can from him uh, while he's still there? Um, but it, it definitely shaped my outlook. You know, there's nothing's promised in this game. Uh, you got to earn everything, and it can be taken from you at any given minute. So uh, for me, I, I really just, you know, I'm very appreciative of, of everything, every, um, every practice, every game. Uh, you know, I try to make the most out of it and, and really work as hard as I can um, while, I, while I still can't play the game. And then the other thing for me is, um, you know, why New York? Mm -hmm. Like Kevin said, he said, I heard Jeff say it's not for everybody, but this is unique, Julius, and you chose to be here. Mm -hmm. So why? Yeah, New York, uh, Jeff's right, New York's not for everybody. Um, but Knicks in particular, this is a, a, organiza a organization that, you know, this city, the state expects a lot out of you. Um, and it comes, I guess, if you, if you believe in pressure, I mean, it comes with, comes with a lot of pressure, it comes with a lot of expectations, but. For me, um, nothing's ever been easy. And I felt like this was a, a situation where it was a perfect opportunity uh, for me to grow, you know, build something organically. Um, 
you know, and really establish a culture um, that can last for a really long time. You know, it wasn't about a quick fix uh, for me. It was something about, you know, establishing a culture and building something for a long time. So for me, uh, there was no better situation. Um, and to play in this city <laughs> in Madison Square Garden for me was, uh, was a no-brainer. One more thing for me, Julius, just because, you know, you mentioned learning from Kobe. Mm -hmm. Is there anything specific you can think about, like, that you took from Kobe that you found yourself going back to uh, that has helped you <sighs> as you continue to evolve and get better and better? Yeah, I mean, while, while um, Kobe was my idol and, and, you know, my favorite player growing up, it wasn't, uh, I mean, he was obviously tremendously skilled. Uh, you know, he was a, number eight was a crazy athlete. Uh, and did a lot of free things on the court, but it was his mindset and his his uh, his killer killer instinct, his mentality, how he approached every day, and his work ethic. Um, you know, I get my work ethic from my mom, and uh, you know that's kind of where I relate with Coke. You know, just outworking everybody, and I, you know, I always point to a specific story. Uh, my rookie year training camp before I broke my leg. You know, I'm a rookie. I'm thinking I'm getting there early, and. Uh, I don't know when I got there, eight o'clock, whenever it was, I don't know, but he was already full sweat, like all almost at the end of his workout. And uh it just kind of opened my eyes up where like, you know, he's really his 18th year, he has everything he wants, accomplished everything he wants, but he's still outworking everybody. Um, and that's just kind of one of the things I always took from him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.